Okay. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. It's uh, my great honor to attend this meeting. And it's my first time to attend the online meeting. And first, let me introduce myself. I'm from Anhui uh, Provincial Cancer Hospital. <clears throat> and our department is the priority department of Anhui Province. Our chief professor is Professor Wang Shengying. <clears throat> and we perform more than 3,000 operations per year. And today, my topic is about clinical value of microwave ablation in thyroid nodules. Uh, first, okay. Uh, we all know that the prevalence of nodule thyroid disease in the general population is high. And thyroid ultrasound sonography and fine needle aspiration is the primary tool used for diagnosis. So there are diverse modalities of treatment for benign nodules. And microwave ablation uh, is short can reduce surgical complications and can be scar-free. And in, my, in our department, uh, microwave ablation is restricted to benign lesions. Uh, so the benign lesions uh, is predominantly solid or cystic and solid mixed nodule. And also we, uh, the patients will have the cosmetic concern or anxiety about um, malignancy. We choose patients with normal thyroid function. <coughs> and our, our department, we use the microwave antennas made by Echo Company. So I think the most important part of the procedure is before the procedure, we should uh, make a mixture of a lidocaine and physiological saline infused into the surrounding thyroid capsule to achieve a liquid isolating region. That's a bar barrier to protect important, uh, 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 important tissues such as trachea or thyroid or the muscles or neck uh, arteries. So it's uh, like a pro protect for the thyroid. <clears throat> and during the uh, procedure with the movie, we should uh, with moving shot technique and uh, multiple small conceptual ablation units are ablated unit by unit by moving the electrode. The electrode tip is initially positioned in the deepest and most remote portion of the nodule, after which it is moved backward to the superficial and nearest portion of the nodule. Uh, let me let, uh, let me show the, some cases. And uh, the left picture is uh, before ablation. Uh, the lesion is about 40 millimeters. And the right picture shows that six months after ablation, it shrinked to 72 millimeters. And this picture shows that uh, uh, the, it's, uh, the picture A shows it's about, uh, the volume is about 102 before ablation. And six months later, it shrinked to 54.1. And the picture B shows that it's, uh, the volume of the lesion is about 96.6. Uh, oh, no, no. This, it's, uh, the picture B shows that it's three months after the ablation. And this picture C shows that six months after the ablation. And, uh, one year later, no evidence has shows no evidence has shows that after the the ablation. And this 
And in this picture, uh, the left show that the thyroid nodule is about 46 millimeters before ablation, and three months later, it shrink to about 11 millimeters. So uh, all these cases shows that microwave ablation is an effective method to cure the benign thyroid uh, nodules. So in summary, I think that microwave ablation is a minimally invasive and effective method which can be an important treatment for benign thyroid nodules but it requires that the operators performing microwave ablation uh, need appropriate experiences in cervical ultrasound anatomy and US, uh, ultrasound guided diagnostic procedures and a dedicated training in image guided therapeutic procedures. Uh, so it's uh, all about and thank you for your attention.